What's up? Making a video how to smash through plateaus, uh, specifically the incline dumbbell press. Um, I don't, well, part of my advice is actually take a step back from the exercise. Uh, that's one way i uh, get more into that. Uh, there's lots of different ways to progress. Uh, the most common uh, progressive overload, if your max is a 100 pound, the 100's on incline for like one rep, then like week one you would do the, the 80's for 10 reps. Maybe a week or two weeks later you would do the 85's for 10. Then the 90's, 95's. You might not be able to do 10 reps each time, even if it just cuts down one rep each week. I mean, by the end of that, you'll be doing like 120s. But there's, that's one way to progress. I uh, just add pounds and stick to a given rep range. If you're trying to increase your one rep max by doing one rep maxes each week, it really won't work. It only works for uh, beginners. The other way is depending on how you do the incline dumbbell press. Some people, they, they stop a couple inches before they touch their chest. Others go all the way down to touch their chest. If you stop halfway, I, I don't know. But another way is get better with tougher form. So that can go for regular bench press. Like if you do 225 for 10 on regular bench press, touch and go, well, do a, a pause, pause reps, pause at the bottom for like three seconds and get better at those. Find a tougher form. And once you get better at that tougher form, it'll carry over into touch and go. It's one way. Another way is doing more sets. So uh, if your max is hundreds and you can do one set of 80s for 10, try to do two sets, 80s for 10, with like a three minute rest and see how many sets of 10 you can do. And if you can only do like three sets of 10 next week, do four sets of 10. Week after that, do five sets of 10. Another way is get stronger at different or get stronger at a different rep range. So pick a weight and shoot for 20 reps. So if your max is a hundred, like one rep max, then your first time doing 20 reps might be like a 65. Uh, then the following week, try to do a 70 for 20 reps. You won't be able to do it that much longer, but just going from a 65 for 20 to a 75 for 20 makes a big difference. And when you're dealing with those higher reps, but not too high, not like 100, I won't go above 20. When you're dealing with those higher reps, your willpower will get you stronger. So with a one rep max, it's, it, I don't know, your willpower doesn't come into play. I know other people, they say don't grind out reps. It's up to you, but that's one way. Pick a higher rep range and get better at a different rep range. Try to stay away from the one rep max for a bit. Keep it a mystery. So like where you really push yourself like, hey, my limit is a 60 pound dumbbell 20 times. I could not do a 65. Well, go for a 65 the next week. And if you grab that 65 and you only get 17, well, the week after that, go for 18. I notice it seems to be easier for me to like get an extra rep with something, especially if it's 10 and up than it is to add more weight. And the strength carryover is there. It's kind of like you're full in your brain almost. It's, it's just easier to beat your reps, or it is for me. And 
Another way is... Yeah, that, that was one way, yeah. Uh, pick a given rep range and then beat your reps. So of a much lighter weight, like 10 and up reps, beat the amount of reps you can do. I was doing it with close grip incline. I did like two, I don't know, like 215 for 15, then I did 225 for 15. Then like two, three months later did it for 16, two, three months later did it for 17. Now I can do it for 18. So that's kind of my point. Like you just, I, I know that, that was big gaps, but the important thing is, is I progressed. I'm still progressing at a steady rate. It's one more rep, but that one more rep is like 10 pounds and added to my incline every two or three months. Uh, in the course of a year, that's 40 pounds on an incline. 40 pounds add, your incline's like 50, 55 pounds add to your bench. That's pretty much what has happened to me the last year. Like me, I spread out my exercises more. Another way is look for different variations. Uh, there's band incline. You can grab a resistance band here and walk it back and forth. And you can do standing press. I mean, this isn't the best band, but I grab it and I press with it. I've done it with, there's videos of me doing it with a black serious steel band, and that band's hard. Uh, I've had people try it, and I've uh, pretty much, anybody that was bench pressing in the 300 pound range couldn't do it. Couldn't do a standing one arm press with this black, thick, serious steel band. Uh, another guy did it, who, he weighed like 220, and he benches 405. He could do it. But yeah, there, there's other, there's different types of resistances to get stronger at. Uh, you got, yeah, you got your bands. You can set up a bench. And it really is fun, too. It's a new thing. That's another thing. Your body gets bored. Uh, like me, I constantly change up variations, and I still have fun. Uh, 11 years in, I'm still, uh, I still progress. And it, a lot of these exercises, I have so many I do that they never get boring. Then you can do a cable incline presses. Pull up a bench, kind of like where people do cable flies. Do a cable incline press. Get better at those. Progress the same way. You can add a couple pounds each week. Stick to a rep range. Or pick a given weight beat your reps like hey i did an incline cable press is no joke that's that's harder it's harder than dumbbell press it's harder than barbell yeah it, it beats all of them unless the cable machine you're using the the weight's not accurate but yeah it beats all of them in terms of difficulty uh Another way is, a lot of power lifters use it, it's overloading. So like me, I, I incline, I do dumbbell presses like this anyways. I do one arm at a time. So I'll, I'll grab a dumbbell and when I grab the dumbbell, I have my other arm which is holding the phone, but I can use two arms to get one dumbbell in position and then press. That's just how I do it. Because if, if I, I have the other arm as a spotter, and then I'll just switch arms and do this one. I do one arm at a time. It, it's safer for me. Uh, and easier, actually. I don't like trying to curl up 200 plus pound dumbbells up here. It might be easy for other people. But it's not for me. And uh, But if you do it that way, you can do overload reps. So... If your max is a 100, for example, you can grab a 120 and grab it up here and just lower it. Don't try to press it up because you don't want to 
mentally cripple yourself. Like, you don't want to... It's good to leave the mystery there. Like, grab a 140 and lower real slowly. That's the goal. Just lower it. And then use your other arm to help assist it back up. That's another way. You can uh, do regular incline bench and try to get stronger on a Smith machine. I don't have too much experience, but that's just another variation. Because uh, if you go from doing a 350 incline bench max on a Smith machine to 400, that is going to carry over. It's focusing more on the muscles, and that is going to carry over. It might not add 50 pounds, but some of it's carrying over. So in order to get your incline dumbbell press or really any exercise, you can find tougher variations to make the exercise harder itself like by taking a step back and getting stronger at other movements you have not done. Like all my incline variations, I'll run through them. I do incline dumbbell press, incline regular incline bench, and then I do close grip incline bench. My hands are really close together. Then I have reverse grip incline bench, so I'm gripping it underhand. You might have to get help uh, unracking it. I have incline cable press. I do incline band press. Uh, and there's a, you can do tempo reps. This is something only I, I've seen me do, but one minute reps, people will try it with pull-ups, but you could try to get better. I know it's slow, but it's safe too. Like, I remember I did like, I didn't videotape it, but I did like 115, but I made it last one minute. So I did 30 seconds uh, down first, and then I did 30 seconds up. So when I went up, I could just unrack it or rack it back. But yeah, it's something else you can do. Get better or stronger. I know most people don't want this, but me, how I train, I like to be strong at everything. Fast, even slow too. You, I mean, if you go from doing a hundred pounds on a dumbbell incline, and you make the rep last a minute, thirty seconds down, like a clock or something. I mean, if you uh, make it last a minute and then thirty seconds up, that's gonna be hard. I, that's kind of like still in the experimental phase for me. It will be the next year. I'm not too sure how that'll carry over. This is something I'm playing around with right now with uh, mostly machines, though. So they uh, isolate the muscles more, and I, I want to go slow. I'll, I'm taking the whole slow approach to the next level because uh, I'm kind of like I've kind of maxed out like all the machines, and it, it's kind of gotten boring in a way. It just it seems pointless to me, like increasing the weights on machines. It's just what I've noticed. I haven't, I haven't really gotten stronger, so I think I want to try the one minute rep thing. But that's just a couple pieces of advice I can think of. I mean, I mean, if you're pressing like one twenties on incline, I mean, truth is, it's another thing. I mean, a lot of people don't want to hear this, but it's hard to get pushed past that. I mean, if you're a not like a giant guy and you're lean and muscular, I mean, it's you got long arms. I mean, incline dumbbell press on 120, that'd probably be about as hard as doing a 265 barbell incline. Probably be it, which would equate to like a 350 bench. And yeah. That's, that's kind of top tier for most people. Most people that go to the gym do not even hit a 300 bench. If you have the genetics to push to a 300, you're already beyond them. So, I mean, I'm kind of in a similar situation. I haven't, like, plateaued, but it's hard to keep pushing. So far, the only things that really stop me is injuries and work like right just life life and injuries so 
terms of life, kind of like people dying, falling, depression, that kind of thing, and injuries. Um, I can't con fully control the life part, but I can control the injury part. I have went three years without any bad injury, but then some life happened, and I've really been back in the gym for about a year and a half, and that year and a half of progress, of course, a lot of the strength is just regaining strength, but I went from inclining 225 for three, and now I can do like 275 for 10. That's the one year ago, like literally one year from today, uh, my max was 275, and now I can probably get it for 10, so. I did 265 for 10, so, and I'm a little bit stronger than I was then, so maybe 275.